Hey, second graders, now it is time for our read aloud and um, knowledge lesson. So we've been talking about the systems in the human body. There's several different systems. I'll show you this poster. All right. Giddy up. So I, now I'm a nerdy cowboy. All right, so we have... This poster, or this picture shows all the different systems that we've been talking about, okay? Which one, when you look at this, is the skeletal system? The skeletal system, right? This is made up of bones and gives the body shape. The skeletal system, right here, skeletal system. And next we have the respiratory system. The respiratory system takes in air to the body. The respiratory system. This guy has our lungs, right? Respiratory system. Next is our muscular system. Right? It allows the body to move and gives it strength. The musculatory or the muscular system. This, this one right here, that's an image of our muscular system, okay? And which one is the digestive and excretory system? Digestive and excretory system. What do you think? I can hear the Jeopardy song playing. Which one? That would be this guy right here, okay? You, you, have, you take in the food, goes down here. So it's your digestive and excretory system. Okay, it turns food into useful nutrients and excretes waste. And which one is the nervous system? The nervous system is communication between the brain and the rest of your body. Like if you touch something hot, your nervous system works, right? Which one is the nervous system? This guy. It just shows all the little nerves in your body, okay? The green one. That would be the nervous system. And then the last would be the circulatory system. It keeps the blood flowing through the body. We talked about blood vessels. This guy, the circulatory system, keeps the blood flowing. So those are the different systems that we've talked about. Do you have a favorite? I really liked what we did yesterday on the skeletal system, the little skeleton we made. But I don't know. Do you have any favorites? Think about that. All right. So today, we're going to read about exercise and staying active. And I hope you're all staying active during this thing, because um, we don't have recess at school, but you can get out and stay active. Right? Get out and have some fun. Ride your bikes. It's, it's going to be nice. It's been nice. So... Um, we're going to talk about a few things in our reading today. I want to go over some of our vocabulary that we're going to come across. I hope you can all see that. So first, the first word up here, you've probably heard the word a lot in your life. I'm not sure if you've used it a whole lot, but the word is calories. Calories. There are units to measure the amount of energy in foods are calories. Okay, that's how we measure energy in food. Um, next, this word is, mm, it's a compound word, net. Oops, I covered up that W, it's supposed to be a W. Work, network. A group of things that work together are a network, okay? Our body, everything working together is a network of things working together. Okay, next, if you get sick <coughs> and then you might recover, you go through a, a period of recovery. So uh, to return to good health, to get better is recovery. Next, the ER makes an er sound, terms. Terms, words or phrases used to describe an idea. So there's lots of, um, there's a few different definitions for the word terms, but we're going to use it. Um, a term for this, 
Um, a device used to fastening paper together with a piece of metal as a stapler. Stapler would be the term, okay? Um, the word sweat, when you sweat or you perspire, those are kind of the same terms for when your body um, loses water when you're really hot to cool off. Okay, next. We've talked about the word esophagus, but the other one would be windpipe. Your windpipe is the passage in your throat that doesn't go to your stomach, but goes to your lungs. Okay, so there's, there's two of them. There's your, your esophagus, it goes down to your stomach, and then your windpipe goes to your lungs. So, and I believe, and it might be in a reading, I haven't looked it over close enough, but when you swallow, your windpipe closes and the food goes down um, to your stomach. So. Um, it's just a passageway. So I'm going to move over here for our read aloud like we always do. Except I had to use the poster, the poster of the different systems. So I will get this to the right place for today's read aloud. Almost there. All right, we have Nick Nutri here. Okay, since I am talking about staying active, this is the coloring picture for the day while I read. Some kids playing soccer. I think you all played soccer, or at least some of you. All right. So we will Begin to read aloud. Nick Nutri. Take a look at this, boys and girls. What are you looking at? Yes, you're looking inside a human body with all of its many complicated parts. Can you find the stomach? Hmm. And the intestines? Who sees the kidneys and the bladder? Today we're going to review some of the things you've learned about the human body and its network of important systems. Let's start with the system you learned about last. Well, we talked to, we learned about the excretory system a few days ago. Okay, that's where you where you pee, okay, or you sweat. Yes, perspiration and urine are liquids, okay? Have you tried using those terms with your family and friends? So then we have the lung and windpipe. Which system is responsible? Which system is responsible for processing your food into nutrients that your body can use, getting rid of waste it doesn't need? Yes. The digestive system. Raise your hand if you can tell me the name of the tube that carries food from the mouth to the stomach. Okay. There's that tube that goes down there. But today, um, we didn't really talk about it, but there's another tube. And we call it the windpipe. The windpipe leads to your lungs. Can anyone guess what travels through your windpipe? Air, right? Oxygen. It's something else that your body needs to live. Air. All right, look at the picture of the human body in this image. Look at all the bones that make up the skeletal system. Um, what system do muscles belong to? The muscular system, right? So the skeletal and the muscular systems work together to help you move. Nerves are part of your nervous system. Okay, they kind of run like highways across every part of your body, traveling up the spinal column all the way to your brain. Okay. Then there's the circulatory system that we talked about. Don't confuse the nerves with the veins or arteries that carry the blood through the body. The nervous system and the circulatory system look similar in the pictures. That's because blood covers a lot of the territory. We've talked about nutrients 
and the way they travel through your blood to support your body systems. Without blood, these important substances would have no way to nourish your body. The circulatory system circulates or moves your blood. You know that each body system performs a separate function and that each system is made up of organs. Okay, this is our skin. Okay, our cells and we have tissue. It's important to keep your cells, tissues, organs and body systems all well running smoothly. You can do that in many different ways. We've talked about the importance of making healthy food choices. Foods give you energy to grow, breathe, move, fight germs, and heal. Some foods have more nutrients in them than others. Choose a variety of foods, especially those high in nutrients. Balance your diet with several servings of grains, fruits, and vegetables, and smaller portions of dairy, meat, and eggs. Oh, remember to eat only a few sweets and fats, and don't forget that fresh food will give you lots of vitamins and minerals, more than packaged ones. So head for the produce aisle or a local farmer's market and stock up on fresh fruits and vegetables. Look at all these fruits and vegetables. What's your favorite? Do you have a favorite vegetable or fruit? Hmm. I wish you could tell me. A lot of you have already told me this year. Do you guys remember what mine is? My favorite fruit? Pineapple. I love pineapple. All right. Besides eating a well-balanced diet, what other great ways can you keep your body healthy? Oh, what do you see? Exercise. Exercise or staying active can help you maintain a healthy body weight. When you exercise, your body uses energy from the food you eat. The amount of energy that food provides to the human body is measured by calories. Food labels list the number of calories or the amount of energy in packaged foods, telling you how much energy is stored in them. You should eat enough food each day to provide your body with the same amount of energy that it uses during the day. If you eat too much and don't exercise, your body will store the extra food energy as fat if you don't eat enough to satisfy your body's needs, your body will use its stored energy and you may lose weight. You're burning energy all the time, even when you're sleeping, but your body uses much more energy to exercise than it does to sleep. If you weighed 100 pounds, you would burn about 40 calories just by standing still for 30 minutes. If you walked 30 minutes, you would burn about 120 calories. You would use up three times more energy by walking as you would by standing still for the same amount of time. So here's a puzzle for you to solve. There are 160 calories in a snack-sized bag of potato chips. 160 calories. If you burn 120 calories by walking for 30 minutes, how much longer would you need to burn up all the calories in that bag of chips? Oh my goodness. Probably about another 10 minutes, okay? Um, what type of exercise do you think might burn the calories even faster than walking? So what kind of exercise do you think would burn calories faster than walking? Well, probably running, climbing, playing a game, playing soccer, riding your bikes, okay? Exercise keeps your heart and lungs working well, fights off illness and disease, and builds strong bones. Make exercise a daily part of your life. Whenever possible, walk and cycle instead of getting in a car. Climb stairs instead of taking an elevator. Swim, play soccer, take karate, gymnastics lessons, shoot hoops with your buddies. All of these are good forms of exercise. Choose what you enjoy and have fun. What kind of exercises do you enjoy? Think about that. Another thing, keeping clean is another part of staying healthy. There are many types of germs that can make you sick. 
Okay, we've been talking about the coronavirus, COVID-19, you know, bacteria and viruses. Bacteria are tiny one-celled creatures that Anton Van Leeuwenhoek studied. They're one of the most common types of germs. Bacteria are everywhere. They're an important part of nature and most bacteria are not your enemies. In fact, many bacteria live in your gut to help you digest your food. But millions more live in your skin. Some of them may be harmful. That's why it's important to wash your hands often and well. Wash them throughout the day, especially before eating. Not just rinsing them with water. You need soap. I can think of some of you who I have to remind to go back. Besides hand washing, making sure that you clean every part of your body too. Take frequent showers, baths, shampoo off, and keep your fingernails short and clean. Brush your teeth regularly to get rid of old food and germs that feed on it. Use floss to keep your gums healthy and get rid of food stuck between your teeth. Brushing teeth, washing. Regular toilet happens are signs of good health. Good health. Most of the time, you don't have to think too hard about these habits, but sometimes your body reacts and lets you know that you need to take extra care. Sometimes feces become hard and dry, making them difficult to pass. That's called constipation. With diarrhea, the opposite happens. Feces becomes loose and runny and may signal an infection in the intestines. When waste systems do not function well, drinking lots of water usually helps. Make sure to listen to your body and nerve signals that it sends to your brain. Don't put off using the bathroom when you need to. So you need to pay attention. How, may, how many of you wake up feeling tired in the morning? Sometimes. Has anyone ever asked you, did you get up on the wrong side of the bed? If you're tired or grouchy when you wake up, that may mean you are not getting all of the rest your body needs. Most seven or eight year olds need about 10 or 11 hours of sleep each night. As you sleep, damaged body cells and tissues are repaired and replaced. If you are sick, Sleep will help speed your recovery or return to good health. Eating well, exercising, keeping clean, and getting enough rest are all good ways to keep your millions and billions and trillions of cells working properly. You also should make sure to have regular checkups with the doctor or other healthcare professionals. I've loved sharing my knowledge of health and nutrition with you. I'm going to bring up Nick Nutri here. Your body is yours alone, and you alone have the power to take care of it your whole life. Now that you know what to do to keep it in good condition, I hope you will treat it as well as you would any of your favorite toys, machines, computers. Okay, Treat your body well. I'm sure you all agree you'll never find another machine quite as amazing as the human body. So thanks for listening. Quick exercise before we go. You have this guy, this guy. Place the check mark next to the picture, picture of each healthy habit you practice. I hope you have a check mark next to all of them. But if not, think about it. Then write a sentence next to each picture describing what you do, okay? I want you to write how what you do to practice each of these habits. Looks like drinking water, going to the doctor, sleeping. Okay, what do you do? Do you do all those things? Do you get enough sleep at night? Remember we talked 10 hours? Okay, do you wash your hands before every meal? That sort of stuff. So just give me a sentence. I wash my hands before every meal. Especially right now during this whole COVID thing, this coronavirus thing, okay? We need to be washing hands. So it's very appropriate. Make sure your name's on it and get it to me. That's it for the day. Um, no, we have handwriting next. Then that's it for the day. So get out your handwriting books and let's rock. Bye guys.